Hello, my friends. In this video, we will be taking a look not at a DNA result of any ancient sample. Instead, we will be taking a look at a very, very impressive work, research work, that was done by one of the people on my Discord server. He linked it to me on Discord, and I am going to review it today. Essentially, he used my tool, my trait predictor tool, to look at uh, the phenotypes of certain modern and ancient populations. And he examined so many different samples. It is absolutely crazy. 97 modern Finnish people, 25 modern Scots, 8 Thracians, 20 modern North Italians, 39 Iron Age Italians. It doesn't say how many. I can't read how many Greeks. 30 modern Sardinians, 38 Palestinian Muslims, 41 Druze, 29 Mycenaeans, 42 Western Hunter Gatherers, 24 Minoans, 21 Bedouins. These are impressive numbers. Uh, these are numbers that I am way too lazy to do myself. So I'm very impressed by this individual. The fact that he was able to do this, this work, it is so, so impressive. Uh, I don't think he has a YouTube channel. If he had a YouTube channel, I would definitely shout him out. But there is no YouTube channel associated with this, um, re this researcher. But I will leave a link to the uh, blog in the description of the video, so especially leave a link to the, um, the blog page, what, what I'm reading right now in the description of the video. I did ask the researcher re about the blog. I asked the researcher, um, was it free to host it? Because I did have an idea to host a blog like that myself. And hosting a web page, it can be free if it's a static web page. But if there, is, if there is any server that you need to run for the web page, it is going to cost you money. Because servers and maintaining, maintaining backend architecture, technically, usually that costs a little bit of money. Right? And there is servers that are... Uh, this looks like a. This looks like it's only front end architecture, but there is back end as well, because as you can see, there is comments that you can leave, there is likes, so there is back end architecture here as well. And he told me that this was free for him. He said, "Nope." He said he did not pay a dime. So that was really surprising to me that WordPress gives you the option to host something like this, where there is likes and comments for absolutely free. This was completely, uh, completely surprising to me, actually that uh, you can host something like that for free where there's likes and comments. Maybe it is like WordPress is kind of like YouTube where you can make a web page like this and likes and, and comments is like a WordPress feature. I don't really know. Anyway, let's get into the actual study. So first I want to find out how many uh, individuals there was from Mycenaean Magdal Magdalia uh, High Step. How many was that? Mycenaean Magdalian Locus. Look, at, it looks like there was 12 individuals for that. All right, pretty cool. All right, Mycenaean Magdalia and Locus was 12 people. Mm -hmm. All right, so for skin color, uh, it looks like he assigned some kind of uh, number for each of the for each of the results. So I'm assuming that for dark brown, he assigned number maybe five or six for Palest skin, he assigned maybe one. For for uh, white skin, he assigned maybe two. For uh, olive skin, he assigned maybe three. And he just calculated the average the average number by averaging the results. And uh, that's what these um, values represent here. So you should you should try to read these results by looking at the average values. It's very interesting. How did he calculate these average skin tones from darkest to lightest? But uh, looks like the lightest would be modern Scotland, Orkney Islands. These they scored the lightest skin, followed by the modern Finns, ninety-seven people who scored the second lightest skin, followed by Thracians, which there's a big jump from Finns to Thracians, two point nineteen to two point seventy-five. There's a big, big jump. So. Uh, Finns versus Thracians, there's a very big jump. Then modern North Italians, the same skin tone as the Thracians. Then Iron Age Italy, almost the same tone as modern North Italians, but slightly darker, ever so slightly darker. Then Mycenaeans, uh, slightly darker than Ar Iron Age North Italians. Then modern Sardinians, slightly darker than Mycenaeans. Palestinian Muslims, slightly darker than Sardinians. Then Druzi, about the same as Palestinian Muslim. 
Mycenaeans, about the same as Drusia, Western Hunter Gatherer, about the same as Mycenaeans. Wow, that's crazy. So actually, Western Hunter Gatherer is actually really brown. Western Hunter Gatherer is the same as like Drusia, Palestinian Muslim, Mycenaean, Minoan. So Western Hunter Gatherer is actually really, really brown in terms of skin tone. And that's based on 42 samples of Western. I did not even know that there was that many Western Hunter Gatherer samples. Because if there are that many, I should I should get to making videos on them. Because Western Hunter Gatherer samples get a lot of views. So I should definitely find all these samples and start making videos on them. I should ask that guy for these samples. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. But that's really cool that there's that many samples from Western Hunter Gatherers. That's that's really interesting. So yeah, I should definitely be researching them and uh making videos on them and then bedouins are the darkest in terms of skin tone so bedouins bedouins are only slight actually Bedouin, the difference between bedouins and western hunter gatherers is less than between western hunter gatherers and like italians and Thracians, which is really crazy to see so western hunter gatherers in terms of skin tone are literally crazy are literally closer to bedouins than they are to southern europeans that's insane all right now in terms of eye color Let's look at eye color. So there is this pervasive myth that Western hunter gatherers uh, have blue eyes, and that is not the case at all. So you can see Western hunter gatherers mostly score hazel or green eye color. So they score forty-two point eight percent for hazel. Most of them, most of them are classified as having hazel eyes, um, but also thirty-five point seven percent get classified as having green eyes, and only a minority get classified as having blue eyes at nine point five percent. And there's also a minority who get classified as having brown eyes at 11.9%. So the reason a minority get classified as having brown eyes, the reason for that is because some of the files have an incomplete coverage. Because of that, a minority of them get classified, misclassified. So most of the misclassifications in this case is due to incomplete coverage uh, with these files. Uh, when it comes to Scotland, Orkney Islands, the most common eye color here is blue. And I wonder, because there is a um, there is a category for blue eyes with an amber center, where did they put that? Did they put that into green eyes or did they put that into blue eyes? I think the logical uh, the logical place to put that is into green eyes. And that would be very interesting to find out where they put that. So for modern Scotland, Orkney Islands, 40% for blue eyes. I think they should have put that into green eyes because... Yes, I think I think that's where they put that because if they put it into blue eyes, there's no way Scotland would score only forty percent for blue eyes. So yes, I think they put that into green eyes category. And for Finnish, but but then again, if they put blue eyes with, with amber center into green eyes category, then Finnish would not be scoring sixty eight percent for blue eyes. That's way too crazy. That's way too high of a number for blue eyes for Finnish population. Sixty eight percent for blue eyes. For Finnish population, that is way too high of a number. 17% for green eyes for Finns, 9.28% for hazel eyes, and 5.15% for brown eyes. It does surprise me that 5.15% of these 97 people of Finnish descent scored brown eyes. So how much is that? 5.15% of 97 people. Is that 5 people? Yes, I think that's five people. So five of these ninety-seven percent, five of these ninety-seven people who are Finnish scored brown eyes with my trade predictor, and nine point twenty-eight percent. I think that's nine people scored hazel eyes, and I guess seventeen people scored uh, green eyes. Maybe green or blue with amber center. I don't really know for sure. All right, Iron Age Italy uh, most scored brown eyes, but there was quite a bit of hazel. And green and blue as well. Modern North Italians most score brown as well, but there is quite a lot of hazel. 25% hazel, 25% blue, and 5% green, which is very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. I think uh, I think I know what happened. I think they put blue with amber center into the blue category. Yeah, because that's the only way these numbers make any sense. Yeah, they put blue with amber center into the blue category. Okay, modern Sardinians, 76% brown eyes, which includes dark brown as well. Uh, looks like it does. 20% uh, hazel eyes, 3.33 green eyes, and no blue eyes at all. Wow, so there's no Sardinians who scored any blue eyes at all. Wow, that's crazy. 
That is crazy. Palestinian Muslims, 38 people. None of them scored blue eyes. So 2.63% scored green, 18.42% scored hazel, and 78.9% scored brown. For Druzia, actually 7.32% scored blue eyes. That's really crazy. Well, in this case, blue eyes might mean blue, or it might mean blue with amber center, as we've already figured out. So uh, in this case, it probably means blue eyes with amber center. And also 19.15% scored hazel eyes and 70.73% scored brown eyes. Thracians, 75% scored brown eyes. 15.5% scored hazel eyes. And then there's 15.5% scored blue eyes, which probably means in this case, it's probably mostly blue eyes with an amber center. And none of them scored green eyes. Mycenaeans, 96.5% scored brown eyes and only 3.45% scored blue eyes. Wow. And that's 20, 29 people. Ancient Asian populations, 83% scored brown eyes, 4.21% scored hazel eyes. Look at Mycenaean, Migdalia, and Locust, 12 people, 100% of them scored brown eyes. So Mycenaean, Migdalia, and Locust, 100% of them scored brown eyes. None of them scored hazel, none of them scored green, none of them scored blue. That's really insane. So out of these, well, that's only 12 people though. So 12 people is not a very large, uh, it's not a very large group. Minoans. Uh, 24 people, 91.67% scored brown eyes, 8.33% scored hazel eyes. And Bedouins, 21 people, 95.24% uh, scored brown eyes and 4.76% scored hazel eyes. So essentially 20%, 20 people out of 21 scored brown eyes and one person scored hazel eyes with my trade predictor out of Bedouins. Now for hair color, let's look at the hair color. So, uh, I think I'm going to put Western Hunter Gatherer, Phenotype, and the Thumbnail, because Western Hunter Gatherer is like the group that everybody that everybody cares about the most. So, Western Hunter Gatherer for skin color uh, would be, right, Western Hunter Gatherer skin color would be light brown or olive. Their eye color would be hazel or green, most likely. So, imagine for Western Hunter Gatherer Phenotype, imagine somebody with light brown or olive skin and hazel or green eyes. And now let's move on to hair color. So for hair color, um, all right. Um, okay, Thracians, eight people. 37.5% black hair, 37.5% dark brown hair. There is a lot, there is 12.5% with dark blonde hair and 12.5% with red hair, which is very interesting. And none of them scored light brown or light blonde hair. Iron Age Italy, mostly dark, mostly black and dark brown hair, but there's a couple with red hair, dark blonde, and light brown hair as well. None of them scored light brown hair. For modern Finnish, 97 people. The most likely uh, hair color for them is dark blonde hair, but a couple of them scored light brown and dark brown hair as well. And actually, 8.24%, 25% people scored light, brown, light blonde hair as well. How many is that? 8.25% out of... 97 people i think that's is that eight people i think that's eight people so eight out of 97 uh, finnish people scored light blonde hair with my trade predictor and then uh, 1.03 percent people scored red hair but most common hair color for finnish people is dark blonde hair with my trade predictor uh, followed by light brown and actually only 2.06% of Finnish people scored black hair. But black hair, some of them, some of them did score black hair as well. Uh, what's, really, uh, what's really funny is that 0% of North Italians scored black hair. Uh, but 70% of North Italians did score br dark brown hair. And 10% scored light brown hair. And 20% scored dark blonde hair. So uh, Italians in general, the most common hair color for them, for North Italians, is dark brown hair. For Sardinians, the most common hair color for them is dark brown hair as well, followed by black hair. You can just pause the video and sort of observe these numbers, but wait. Uh, okay. I think I want to re return to the... Yep, I want to return. Yep. So... For Sardinians, the most common hair color as well is dark brown, but followed by that is black hair. For Mycenaeans, it's also dark brown followed by black hair, and none of them score any hair colors besides dark brown and black. Palestinian Muslims, it's actually black hair followed by dark brown. 
Um, and no one it's actually black hair followed by dark brown, and they also don't score any hair colors besides dark brown and black. For Drusia, it's black hair followed by dark brown, but they also score 2.4% for light brown and 2.4% for dark blonde. So there is hair colors besides dark brown, dark brown and black present in Drusia population. And for ancient Aegeans, there is also dark, there's also black followed by dark brown, but there's also 2.11% uh, for light brown hair as well. Uh, for Mycenaeans, it's 68.9% for black, followed by 27.5% for dark brown, but there's also 3.45% for light brown hair as well. For modern Scotland, the most common hair color is dark blonde, same as Finnish people, followed by light brown and dark brown. And modern Scottish, Scottish people also have a little bit of light blonde hair and a little bit of black hair as well. So modern Scottish people are actually kind of similar to Finnish people in terms of pigmentation. If you look at the uh, frequency table for Scottish people and Finnish people, they kind of resemble each other. The only difference is slight difference in numbers. So Scottish people have slightly higher frequency of dark brown hair and slightly higher frequency of black hair than Finnish people. Scottish people also have slightly lower frequency of light blonde hair. But overall, Scottish and Finnish people have pretty, pretty similar frequencies. And for Bedouins, uh, very definitely black hair is most common, followed by dark brown hair at 14.29%. And for Western hunter-gatherers, 76% for Western hunter-gatherers have black hair, followed by actually 9.5% of Western hunter-gatherers score dark blonde hair, which is very, very interesting. But that is probably, that is most likely due to, uh, due to incomplete data in the files. That is most, most likely due to incomplete files and complete coverage in the files. So the most common hair color for Western Hunter Gatherers is black. The most common eye color for Western Hunter Gatherers is hazel and green. And the most common uh, skin color for Western Hunter Gatherers, let's get over that again, is, is light brown and olive. Now let's get over the, the skin colors for West for all of these populations. So for Minoans, Cycladics and Hilatics, the most common skin color is light brown and olive. And dark brown and pale skin is not really found. White skin and medium medium brown skin is found, but very low frequencies, as you can see. For Drusia, the most common skin tones are light brown and olive. Once again, white skin is found at 7.32% frequency. For ancient Asian populations, the most common skin tones are also olive and light brown, but medium brown and uh, white skin are found at low frequencies as well. For Mycenaeans also, Olive and light brown skin are most frequent, and white skin and medium brown skin are found at lower frequencies. For Palestinian Muslims, olive skin and light brown skin are most frequent, and nothing else is found. For modern Sardinians, olive skin, light brown skin, and white skin are most frequent. Nothing else is found. For Iron Age Italy, olive skin, light brown skin, white skin, and pale skin are actually most frequent. 7.69% of uh, Iron Age Italians score pale skin, which is very surprising. So 7.69% uh, of Italians score that. that. That's pretty interesting. Um, that's, that's, a very, that's a very interesting score to score because it's kind of difficult to score pale scale with my trade predictor. You have to, uh, you have, to re have a lot of depigmentation variance to score that. Uh, for Mycenaeans from Migdala Migdalia and Locus, most common skin tone is olive, uh, but they also score light brown and white skin. For modern North Italians, the most common skin tone is olive, but they also score white skin and light brown. Uh, but a light brown is kind of rare at only 5%. For Thracians, the most common skin tone is olive and white. Um, and for modern Finnish people, the most common skin tone is white, but they also score olive at 15.4% and white and palest skin at 8.25%. For modern Scottish people, the most common skin tone is white, but they also score pale at 24% and olive at 8%. So we see the trend here that Scottish people are a little bit whiter in terms of skin tone than, than Finnish people, actually. And for Bedouins, the most common skin tone is actually light brown. So Bedouins are darker in terms of skin tone than every other population here. Bedouins score 66.67% for light brown, and they score 4.76% for medium brown, and 28.57% for olive skin. Whereas Western hunter-gatherers, they score a little bit lighter than Bedouins because they score 40.48% for light brown, 40.48% for olive skin, 7.14 for white skin, 4.76 for pale skin. That is 100% due to um, uh, due to incomplete coverage in the data. So if you see a Western gather scoring 4.76 for pale skin, that's due to incomplete coverage in the data. That's due to due, due to corrupted data files. So uh, you can disregard that. But most common 
uh, classification for Western Hunter Gatherers is light brown or olive skin tone, uh, black hair, and hazel or green eyes. So uh, that essentially answers the question of what did Western Hunter Gatherers look like? Hazel or green eye color, uh, black hair, and light brown or olive skin. I couldn't just leave it there, so I went and uh, generated an AI image of what uh, Western Hunter Gatherers might have looked like. AI is getting better. It's looking a lot more realistic than it looked like even a couple months ago. Um, you know, these AI images are slowly but surely getting better and better, becoming more realistic. Uh, do they look like Western Hunter Gatherers, you know, facial features wise? Who knows? Really, who knows? I think they don't even really look that European, but it's going to work for the thumbnail. In terms of facial features, I think they look a little bit South Asian, but. Uh... Maybe, maybe, West, maybe some Western Hunter Gatherers did look this way. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you leave a like, um, subscribe if, in case you aren't already, and uh, check out the description of this video because in the description will be the link to this website, to this blog. Goodbye.